Hey everyone, this is Geek Ben here, right guys, another one of my Panda's Opinions. Now, a while ago I made a video of Mill Sims finally coming to the PS4 Xbox One question mark as hoping to see some more military simulation games or more tactical or more realism games coming to the current gen systems. With that, we did see some, but we didn't see as much as we thought it would. With that in this video, Mill Sims might happen with the next gen consoles, including the PS5 and the next Xbox, is more likely. Because the next gen systems obviously better hardware. They can do more stuff in it. We've seen it happen with each new generation of systems. With that though, the gaming community in particular on the console market has been yearning for games with more realism to it. And slowly developers and publishers are actually starting to listen to these comments and feedback. With this though, it's still not a lot today, but in the future we could possibly hope for more. With that, let's see what we got going on here. Now here's some assortment of games that you can play with realism in mind. Do note you might have to change some of these gameplay settings in order to get that. First off, Ghost Recon Wildlands. The game does feel more of an arcade like experience than the previous titles, but with it, you can max out the difficulty, edit the gameplay to be more realistic. It still feels arcade though. Single player is available with full co-op and multiplayer as well. Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1 does offer hardcore servers for the multiplayer, though it is more in-depth than Call of Duty, but not by much. BF5 would be on this list, but it is a more arcade-like experience, and they don't offer any hardcore servers yet. Rainbow Six Siege is a good solid title to play for a squad-based tactical shooter. It is big in the multiplayer area, with two teams looking it out, but there is a PvP PvE experience with Terrorist Hunt, but it is not as good as the past Terrorist Hunt game modes in the previous titles. Lastly is Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising, which is available on the Xbox One via the Xbox 360's backwards compatibility list. Even though this is a past-gen title, because it's on the current gen with this, this is the best and closest example of a Milsim game on the current gen systems. Of course, back then we also had Operation Flashpoint Elite on the original Xbox, but the game does offer a single player campaign with co op and multiplayer, but do note that no one really plays it anymore. You can't really find anyone. The only time that this game actually had people is when it first released and when it made on the backwards compatibility list. So you really do need to organize with your friends to set up something in this game. Alright, for future titles that are coming out on the current gen systems for the Xbox One and the PS4 that we know of entirely is Insurgency Sandstorm. Though already out on the PC, the console port has been delayed due to the fact that the PC version needs more time being patched up, fixed, and optimized. It is coming, but it's going to take a little bit to get there. Ghost Recon Breakpoint is also coming out later this year, which adds to capitalize more realism on top of the arcade-like experience that Wildlands did when it came out. With this though, it does seem to be a promising game. We can expect the full single player campaign with co-op and of course multiplayer, but we can't we don't, won't know anything for sure until it comes about, but this is one of your next best things if you want to play with friends. Also, another game coming out is Ready or Not. This is a tactical shooter shooter that's basically a spiritual successor to the SWAT series. We don't have a release date right now for the consoles. It is coming out on the PC first, so the console gamer is going to have to wait, which it might end up being on the next gen if it takes too long or if they still pursue a console release. At the end of the day though, your best bet with playing Milsim games is going to be on the PC. The PC market has tons of them out there, including Arma 3, Squad, PC gaming offers a lot more variety than what the console market does. So, above it all, if you want a Millisim game on the consoles, you're going to have to wait because we don't really know if it's going to happen. So your best bet, just play on PC. And with that guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Post down in the comment box of what you think what Millisim game would be awesome for the consoles for the next gen systems. Also don't forget the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also guys, I'm partnered with the ashk.moe for all your otaku fandom needs and if you want to help support the channel you can check out my Patreon page. Other than that, this is Geek Band here. I'm out. Stay geeky my friends.